Before discussing subtraction, we revise additive inverse of an integer. Minus 3 plus 3 is equal to 0. Minus 3 plus 3 is equal to 0. Two integers whose sum is 0 are called the additive inverse of each other. That is, minus 3 plus 3 is 0. Additive inverse of minus 3 is equal to 3 plus 3. Then, additive inverse of plus 3 is equal to minus 3. Then, 10 plus minus 10 is equal to 0. Then, 10 plus, mi 10 plus minus 10 is equal to 0. Then, additive inverse of 10 is equal to minus 10. The sum is 0. So, additive inverse of 10 is minus 10. And uh, additive inverse of minus 10 is equal to plus 10. That is just to change the sign. Additive inverse of an integer is obtained by changing the, changing the sign of the integer. Additive inverse of an integer is obtained by changing the sign of the integer. That is additive inverse of 10. Positive 10, negative 10. Additive inverse of negative 10 is positive 10. Then additive inverse of 15 is minus 15, negative 15. And additive inverse of negative 200 is positive 200. Subtraction is the opposite of addition. So we can change subtraction to addition and apply the rules for addition. Subtraction that is 4 minus 10. 4 minus 10. We are subtracting 4 and 10. That is 4. This minus, that is subtraction minus, we can change it to addition. Minus, we can change it to plus, that is addition. Similarly, we can't write 4 plus 10. Some changes will be there. That is 4 plus 10. Uh, 4 plus minus 10. That is subtraction minus is changed to addition plus and this plus 10 is changed to minus 10. That is 4 plus additive inverse of plus 10. That is 4 plus minus 10 and then we know addition rules. Subtract them. This is a positive integer. This is negative. So, subtract them. 10 minus 4 is 6 and the greater number is minus, uh, greater number is 10 and sign, sign of the bigger integer is um, negative. So, the answer is negative 6. Another example, negative 20 minus 10. This is subtraction minus, the numbers are minus 20 and 10. That is minus 20 first number. Then the subtraction is changed to plus. Then additive inverse of the number which is to be subtracted. That is minus 20 plus additive inverse of 10. That is equal to minus 20 plus additive inverse of positive 10 is negative 10. Then both are negative integers. Therefore, add them and place the same sign. So, 20 plus 10 is 30 and negative. So, minus 20 minus 10. Minus 20 plus additive inverse of 10. That is minus 20 plus minus 10. Both are negative integers. So, add them and place the same sign. Negative 20 minus negative 10. So, the numbers are negative 20 and negative 10. Now, change this subtraction to addition. That is negative 20 plus additive inverse of minus 10. Additive inverse of minus 10. That is equal to negative 20 plus additive inverse of negative 10 is positive 10. That is this is negative and pos uh, we are adding a positive and a negative integer. So, subtract them. 20 minus 10 is 10 and sign of the bigger integer that is minus 10. The answer is minus 10. 
So like this we can subtract integers. Change the subtraction to addition. Then add the additive inverse. That is to subtract two integers. We add the additive inverse of the integer which is to be subtracted. Minus 15 minus 10. That is minus 15 plus 10. We are subtracting 10. So minus 15 plus additive inverse of 10 is minus 10. Both are negative integers. So add them and place the same sign. So minus 25. 30 minus minus 10. That is 30 minus minus 10. Then first num integer is 30. Subtraction is changed to addition. Then additive inverse of minus 10 is plus 10. So the answer is both are positive integers. Add them and place the same sign. 10 minus 15. 10 that is 10 minus 15. 10 plus additive inverse of 15 is minus 15. This is positive and this is negative. So subtract them. That is 5 and place the sign of the bigger integer minus 5. So subtraction is very easy. Change it to addition and apply the 